So, listen up. I stumbled upon this document organically, um, and I looked at it and I thought, I am not going to read all this. So I did what any good person would do who wanted to get to the bottom of a story, a breaking story, but did not want to read a 90-page long document. I uploaded it to Google's Notebook LM, and I listened to a 16-minute long NPR-style podcast by two AI-generated voices to explain to me what this is so I don't have to read it myself. And after listening to the NPR people talk about it, I think I have a pretty good understanding about what's written. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That's actually what happened. Yes, this is 90 pages, but most of this is screenshots from Facebook where a guy's just being a dick. So this is, out, this is the thing that I caution would be outside my usual realm, but by which I was going to go in, sword raise, and try to figure out what the fuck is happening. Because I was mildly, I was tantalized by a little bit of drama, okay? Um, this is a document called, I want to share a piece of me for a moment. And it was posted on Zitter by Fruit V Shoujo, a VTuber. Now, I have to be careful because she is a hardcore, like, yeah, you see what I mean? She's like a Coomer character. Um, has almost half a million followers and is the official part of V Shoujo. She's a British girl um, from the United Kingdom. And this is her. This is her, but through so many filters, it genuinely looks like someone took a photograph of somebody and then painted her face to look completely different. This is what she looks like with less filters on, but still some filters. British is what I'm trying to say. Um, she, when she was 19, I believe, was already married or was in a relationship with a guy who was deployed. And she cheated on him. Um, here's the bill of indictment from anime enjoyer Edgy But Dull. First, she cheated on her boyfriend while he was deployed and then didn't even write him a letter to explain that she had cheated and would be dumping him. Um, he just found out when he came home. Uh, during the Hogwarts Legacy shit show, which if you remember caused Pika Me, like the really popular one to want to commit seppuku, um, she was a part of the dog pilers that dog piled on Pika Me for playing the game. And then while she was getting harassed, she said something to the effect of everyone makes mistakes, condemning the person for playing the fucking video game like a retard. Uh, makes a tweet to donate to a support gender diverse children for every like the tweet gets, and it gets so many likes that she has to. She's compelled by her statements to donate fifty thousand dollars to a um a charity, which was mermaids. Which, if you don't know, there's a huge scandal in the United Kingdom where the mermaids were like fucking sex pest weirdos. They had tons of problems in their their charity, but that's the one that she picked. And then there was never any confirmation whatsoever that she actually gave money to the charity. So it looks like she fucking lied. And despite being a, um, like a, literally like a digital prostitute who's like a super progressive tranny lover, um, she, before she was popular, she was on K and she was also dissing trannies. So when it was uh, popular to bootstrap her career, by appealing to the board K, which as a British person, I'm sure she has tons of rich gun culture in her family that she actively participates in and has a lot to contribute besides just being a, a digital prostitute. Um, once she became more popular and got signed, she dropped that and became a mermaid simp, I guess. Um, so then, she was in a relationship with her husband. And... Um, after she got dumped, and I, th I don't know the exact details because that's not clearly documented anywhere, she then publishes, I want to share a little piece of me for a moment document, alleging that he was a abuser. And his, her evidence for this was that um, they very vicariously or variously that um, he was emotionally cold to her, that he did not allow her to watch anime that had gay couples because she says that, that he didn't like gay people. Um, so he says, stop watching that tranime shit. That's fucking gay. And she was like, oh, no, I'm being gaslit and abused. Um, 
and then there is something else. I'm trying to remember. He was basically just a dick to her, is what she was trying to say. Um, and isolated her from her friend. But there's a, a bit of a conniving element to this. Um, she calls him a gaslighter. And at some point, she has like a trigger warning for sexual assault in this document. But the uh, sexual assault incident was that she got groped in an airport in Sweden. <laughs> so she went to an airport in Sweden and then got sexually assaulted by a stranger. Now I'll leave it up to you guys to imagine what that person might look like. She opts to not describe him at all. And then she says that he was not um was not good about being there for her. Uh and then at some point he says, well, I was there for you after you got sexually assaulted. And she says, well, I didn't actually, he wasn't actually there for me. This is all, like I said, I listened to this in NPR style, and that's basically the gist of it. Um, he didn't like that I watched it anime with a gay, gay couple in it. Um, and she says, no, I really want to watch um, this this hyped up anime I don't watch Yuri, so don't worry, I'm not going to turn gay. He says, so you're just following the crowd. You're going to approve the fact that people think it's acceptable to have a mental disorder and find it amusing. She says, what the fuck? He says, did I confuse you, or do I need to break things further down for you? What's so confusing? Pointed out, you're going to approve the fact that people think it's acceptable to have a mental disorder. You think that gay people are normal. That's why you watch shit like Yuri. That's why you approve gay relationships and you find it entertainment. <laughs> I don't see gayness as a mental owner. I wasn't brought up that way. Show me on your body where the vagina from another woman is supposed to go, question mark. <laughs> this is her banger evidence that he was a was a abuser. Mm. And for Oh, okay. The other thing that she says is that they got married. But he wanted to have a joint bank account, and um, she refused. Well, he wanted to have a joint bank account, I think, with her early on in the relationship. And she says that that was him trying to gain financial control over her. And then she claims that she um, was not allowed to have friends. And that was with when she was at a college dorm with six other university students, and they would throw house parties. And he asked that uh, she did not go to the the house parties with the anime club. So she says that he was socially isolating with her. Uh, trying to join bank accounts that had just begun. I had, was still living with my parents. My mom was in control of my bank account at that time. He insisted that we join bank accounts. This was an early sign of abuse because the first time he tried to gain control over me. I wanted to run above my mom first. When I declined, he took his frustration out on me. It's very weird that these are all like on Facebook. Like, did they, was this like an internet marriage? Why are there 100% of their conversations on um? On Facebook. So then he was a dick to her on, on Facebook. You didn't read what I said. I'm not one to screenshot something. This is fucking stupid. It's hard. She's like taking things out of context. So it's hard to understand what they're arguing about. They're just like yelling. It's like nonsense. Okay, so. Oh, and then she kept saying that she didn't understand things because she's dyslexic. So he called her a retard, and she says that that was verbal abuse because, I mean, you probably shouldn't call your wife a retard. I'm not going to lie. Um, but if she, I mean, she was using her dyslexia for why she couldn't understand anything being said. Maybe I should call each other instead of fucking having conversations over Facebook Messenger. He asked me to put on makeup when we video call so because I wasn't pretty enough without it. I was comfortable enough to be my human self around him before this, not wearing makeup, wearing PJs, not doing my hair. He would often call me ugly when I did this. There were times where he was around his friends and wanted me to video call, but I wasn't wearing makeup, and I was wearing a dressing gown, so I had just gotten out of bed. He told me to go put on makeup because I wasn't pretty enough for him. Apricot says, Blank has really high standards, told me to put on makeup when we video called, 
because he wanted to talk to the pretty me. That was him venting to my bro me venting to my brother about it. Um. Well, there's no evidence for that. You could have just created those. <laughs> I mean, if he's hanging around his friends, it would make sense that he's like, hey, you know, get gussied up, put on clothes so that I can show my friends that I am dating a hot babe. I don't know. Well, Blank dumped me. Want to chill in my room and... <clears throat> Sad emoji face. Why did he dump you, though? You did so much for him. Crying O face. Our relationship was unhealthy, and my depression just increased, which caused me to lose motivation in living. Apparently, I didn't do enough. It's a long distance. It's not a fucking real relationship if it's online. How are you married, and you don't live together, and you just talk over Facebook messaging? He compared, he compared me to his ex-wife. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong. This guy is obviously like a fucking loser. Like, if you are in a relationship online and you don't make that shit physical within six months, uh, it's over. You're never going to tie the knot. You're never going to have a real relationship. I mean, she says that she was married to him, but there's is there like a picture of them together at all? Is there like a picture of... Have they ever met? How did they get married on two different continents... And they've never fucking met each other. This is not a real relationship. And she posted this, and I can't even find it because it's just porn on her fucking account. But it's like, she posted this and got tens of thousands of upvotes and for a relationship that ended. And this guy has no internet presence, and he has no way to defend himself, and apparently they've never fucking met. <laughs> so what the... Just block him. <laughs> Just block him. Uh, Right-click his username on Discord and press the divorce Discord daddy button, and then you'll. <laughs> and then he's gone. He's gone forever. And if he tries to fuck with you on Twitter, then you can post your documentary or whatever the fuck. But bizarre. There might be an explanation for this, by the way. Uh, of course, this person is an adult, so we can make fun of her uh, for. Um, publicizing a 90-page documentary about her Facebook boyfriend. But um, here's the other thing that was uh, discovered last second, because I asked the VTuber thread, I'm like, what the fuck is happening with this? Can someone explain this to me? Um, the, and the, someone, he's just passing, somebody passingly mentioned this, like, oh, yeah, by the way, her mom is, like, her biggest simp on, on Zitter and actively defends her on the Internet. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry, can, can you repeat that? This is the mother of Litra's Apramum, because her name is Apricot, so she's Apramum. She's active on Twitter and is a reply guy in her D, um, her her replies defending her and white knighting her. And there's three particular in, um, things that people had sent me that I found funny. So this is an example of her tweets, ready? This is her mother replying to people on Twitter defending her digital VTuber prostitute on, on the internet. To all the little keyboard warriors slash lowercase i internet trollers slash 4chan, plon 4chan plonkers, I'm working my way around to replying to you all, but if I don't, be assured Twitter deemed your tweet to be so insignificant I didn't even get a notification. Oh, when you get schooled by Appermum, all you can do is hit block. Crawl back under your 4chan-shaped rock. Um, Asahi Kaiku says, You cheated your husband. Karma is a bitch, huh? Fucking retard. She says, Using the R word. Really? That's all you got, you tool? Crying, laughing. How about you stop trying to troll with the big boys? Bringing out you saved screenshots from years ago, you weirdo. Sad fact, it's easier to put up with lies, trolls, and idiots than the truth. I could annihilate and crush a man with the truth in one tweet, but I won't. Not today, anyways. Smirking. Tweet of me looking at Egg's husband. Loser. I'm hoping my tweets are being screenshot too and saved in a little weirdo file on their PC. Even better, sent to G.I. Joe himself, referring to the man that she cheated on while he was deployed. Um... This is from last year, January last year, by the way. So she's been around doing this continuously for at least two years, since November 2022. Um, 
And then this was, I think this was in response to the the GoFundMe scam thing, the uh, tranny scam. But her mom showed up again to defend her on the internet. Replying. This is, uh, further is my opinion that anyone who uses Giphy images to react to things is like a low IQ mongoloid. It's fucking nonsense. Um, but this is something that she took credit for. This guy called Ant Hemi. And then, of course, it has to have CH at the end, because otherwise it's not a VTuber-related thing. Uh, Aunt Hemi made a video about Apricot, and it's 40 minutes long. So her mother went onto the Internet and reported his Discord and Twitter accounts and got them both banned, and she took credit for it. Today is a good day. Laughing, crying emoji. Let's just say these reports are all the same account and they all say the same thing. Account suspended. And then she posts the, we have an update on your report. And then someone says, was it a certain insect? Yup, that's good. Hopefully you and Fruit can breathe a little easier. I heard even her Discord was nuked. Fruit definitely never lost any sleep over her. Me, on the other hand, I had to get her canceled for entertainment value laughing crying face. Yes, the Discord got nuked too. Laughing crying face. Cool. I'm glad you like harassing younger people and making a game out of it. But has your daughter donated the $55,000 to charity yet? At least I'd never cheat on my spouse. Can't say the same thing for your daughter. So, this hoe is like a serial philanderer. Like, one of those chameleons who's, like, anti-tranny when appealing to K, pro-tranny when appealing to Twitch, um, willing to publish 90-page-long documents about her own personal life to try and tarnish her husband's reputation, even though they never even fucking met, apparently, and then has her mommy, has her literal mommy, go out and report people on the internet to get their Twitter accounts suspended and Discord accounts banned. British people, anime people, there's something fucking wrong with them. Uh, whole island should be fucking nuked. Um, never date a British girl. She'll suck a black dick when you're on deployment. Don't know what else to say to that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the flamenco segment. <laughs> Where I pretend to know anything about VTubers. I know, I know a little bit about how, how weird it is that somebody's mom is on, on Twitter reporting shit for you. That's a bit fucking weird. And if that was literally anyone else, like imagine if Blow Blacks' mom, speaking of, um, we'll talk about him in a second, but imagine if his mom was out like reporting Discord accounts and shit. Like why the fuck, why is it even remotely acceptable? Why is it not like something that her fans, I mean, they're all, her fans are all like goon or trannies and, and fucking goon clowns and shit. So I suppose it doesn't matter what what she's up to, but... It should be, like, career suicide to be that much of a fucking parasite. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.